move on to Lindsay Carswell. Expecting to be here quite so quick. <laughs> okay, my name is Lindsay Carswell. Uh, you probably all know me. I am a retired school teacher and I taught economics and accounting at Kerry Kerry High School for a number of years. First of all, I am opposed to the um, selling off the council owned uh, companies or assets. The history of such sales throughout New Zealand over the last 30 odd years. Uh, either uh, central or local government, has shown that the decision to do so was somewhat short-sighted and resulted in a transfer of wealth from the public to a few. In other words, it enriched a few people at the expense of all New Zealanders. There are a number of options that I believe are available for the Council to consider that could reduce or eliminate the need for asset sales. These include defer some of the projects, in particular the, the stadium project. Now, unemployment at the moment in Canterbury is at 3.1%, according to Statistics New Zealand, from the latest March, up to the latest March quarter. <coughs> Nationally, it's a rate of 5.8%. The labour market in Christchurch is stretched, and I believe at the level of planned capital expenditure that you have, as outlined on page 69 of the uh, documents, <coughs> is unrealistic. I believe a longer term is needed to smooth out uh, some of those projects. A 15 to 20 year time frame is probably more realistic. There. Second point. I'm not going to go into any great detail, but it's to renegotiate the cost-sharing agreement with the government. The reason I'm not going to go into that is the next point probably covers it a bit there. And other people too, I think, are already been talking about that particular thing. I would insist that the government pay an increased share of the rebuild costs. I am of the view that the tax revenue the government is, will receive during the period of the rebuild will be much greater than the cost to the Crown, about $15 billion, but that may be going up again, whatever the latest budget papers happen to show. I'll, I've got attachments here which I will go over in a few minutes. I tried to obtain information showing the impact of the Canterbury rebuild, an estimated cost of $50 billion, would have on the New Zealand economy. I approached Treasury and then Revenue and economists throughout New Zealand. All advised that they had done no research on this. Brian Easter admitted to me that the issue is very complicated, which is why nobody has done the hard grind. Well, it's not nobody. CDC's done the work. We no. could get that information. Although there is no hard research to support my argument, I have made some calculations on aspects of the rebuild to determine the increase in tax from that particular activity. Now, they're very crude pieces of research I did, I admit that. I looked at unemployment in, in uh, the Canterbury area. It's declined 5,000. The uh, workforce over, the, over a five-year period has increased to 32,000. Now, I would imagine some of those people will Possibly have been unemployed, some will be from overseas. But each person that comes off the unemployed benefit and goes on to full time work saves the government or in, in expenditure and in income tax approximately $22,000. Times 32000 gives $700 million a year over a 10 year period, gives you $7 billion. GST on the estimated 50 billion is, is uh, 6.5 billion. I don't know what the business income tax will be on profits from the GST they will be paying, nor do I know exactly what the individual income tax will be. But if you have a look at one of the graphs I've got here, one of the, uh, the retail spend in Canterbury is quite spectacular. 
hundred a month. These simple calculations show that the tax revenue the Crown will receive over the next 10 years will exceed the cost to the Crown, and as a result, the Crown should be supporting the Council with further financial assistance. This is not asking for a handout. The tax gain resulting from the rebuild should remain in Canterbury. I'm aware that the government is experiencing difficulty in achieving a budget surplus for the 2015-16 year. But if it were not for the Canterbury earthquake rebuild, the financial position of the Crown would be much worse. <clears throat> Other matters. The plan we've got here, the 2015-25 long-term plan, is possibly the most important financial plan the City Council has ever had to produce. Yet there is no clear financial statement showing the capital expenditure required, the amount to borrow and the sale of Council assets to cover that expenditure. I sort of feel that the accounts should show the capital expenditure required and then show the deficit before borrowing and asset sales. I'll just make it a lot clearer to see what's actually going on. I've, I've I had a good look through everything there, but I just can't find that anywhere. And then row totals for these items should also be included. Another point, final point, there is no requirement in the Local Government Act that requires the Council to have a balanced budget. Section 100 of the Act requires that the Council must ensure that each year's projected Operating, revenue, or operating revenues are set at a level sufficient to meet that year's projected operating expenses. And here's a statement then from the Auditor, the Office of the Auditor General. The Local Government Act 2002 defines operating expenses and operating revenues as having the same meaning as under generally accepted accounting practice. Unfortunately, the GAAP definitions are not, not that precise, but the accounting standards define operating activities as the activities of the entity that are not investing or financial activities. Capital expenditure items are considered to be investment activities, and that was Andrea Reeves uh, from the Office of the Auditor General. In short, the balanced budget requirement excludes capital expenditure. I don't know where that came from. Thank you, um, Lindsay. And, uh, you know, I was kind of trying to be helpful in terms of um, my interjecting on, on your comment. You might like to um, uh, put a request through to the Canterbury Development Corporation for the information that you say isn't available, because I, it, it certainly is, and um, somebody just needs to ask for it. I did have a quick look on their website. No, 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 it's not on find... their website. You need to write mm. to them and ask for it. <laughs> Just to finish off. No, 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 you have. I mean, um, we're well over time and I've, oh. let, I've let you go. So, um, but I'm, I'm, I am trying to be helpful in that regard. All right. And there are other people in the room that might like to follow up on that as well. Thank you. Thank you.